here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 15 and from this video video onwards we are going to start a new topic that is area enclosed by plane curves under this topic we are going to study two problems and both the problems are equally important in this video that is in video number 15 we are going to solve this problem okay which is very 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 important you are going to learn a lot from this video so let us start the question says find the area included between parabola whose equation is y equals to 4x minus x square and a line whose equation is y equals to x so here you can see we have to find the area included between parabola and a line equation of parabola is y equals to 4x minus x square and equation of line is y equals to x here you can see we have a different form of equation for this parabola okay so first of all we need to draw a parabola whose equation is this for that we will take the help of certain coordinates okay so for for par parabola that is y equals to 4x minus x square okay on putting x equals to something we will get y equals to something so on putting x equal to 0 you will get y equals to 0 0 0 on putting x equals to 1 you will get y equals to 4 minus 1 that is 3 on putting x equals to 1 we will get y equals to 3 now putting x equals to 2 so on putting x equals to 2 this will become 8 and this will become 4 so 8 minus 4 will become 4 so on putting x equals to 2 y equals to 4 now putting x equals to 3 so here it is going to be 4 into 3 that is 12 minus 3 square that is 9 so 12 minus 3 12 minus 3 square that is 9 and now 4 12 minus 9 that is 3 now on putting x equal to 4 this is what 4 into 4 that is 16 this is again 4 square 16 16 minus 16 that is 0 so on putting x equals to 4 you will get y equals to 0 so let us try to draw a parabola with the help of these five points this is my y axis and this is my x axis this is x axis this is y axis fine let us draw some coordinate that is 1 2 3 4 similarly here we are drawing 1 2 3 4 first coordinate that is given is 0 comma 0 so this is the first coordinate okay now coming x equal to 1 y equal to z, y equals to 3 when x equals to 1 y equals to 3 suppose this is my second coordinate second point then x equals to 2 y equals to 4 when x equals to 2 y equals to 4 this is my third point first second third now when x equals to 3 y equals to 3 so when x equals to 3 y equals to 3 this is my fourth point okay now when x equals to 4 y equals to 0 when x equals to 4 y equals to 0 that means this is my fourth point so here you can see we can draw a parabola by using these four points okay so let us try to join these four five points okay so this is my parabola whose equation is given as y equals to 4x minus x square so we have drawn this parabola whose equation is this with the help of these points now again we have a line whose equation y equals to x so we can draw this line this line represents y equals to x okay i hope up to this you don't have any doubt now here you can see the area included between the parabola and the line okay so this is parabola and this is line so area included is this part okay suppose i am taking a vertical strip okay i am taking a vertical strip so here you can see the bottom part of this vertical strip is on this line that is lower limit of this vertical strip is on this line and upper limit of this strip is on this curve whose equation is this and this 
strip moves from this to this that is here we have 0 comma 0 and here we need to find the coordinate okay so we have to find the coordinate here so we can say we have y equals to 4x minus x square and y equals to x suppose this is 1 and this is 2 okay so now on solving both you will get on equating both you will get x equals to 4x minus x square x equals to 4x minus x square now equating this now taking this uh, 4x minus x square to the left hand side this will become x square will become positive and x minus 4x will become minus 3x and this is equals to 0. Now we can take common x this will be x minus 3 equal to 0. From here you will get x equals to 0 and 3 ok. So here on equating this you will get x equal to 0 and x minus 3 equal to 0 that means x equals to 3. So we have two values of x now from equation 2 you can say from equation 2 we can say the um, when x equal to 0 implies y equals to 0 ok from equation 2 if you put x equal to 0 y equals to 0 and when x equals to 3 implies y equals to 3. So, we can say the intersection points are therefore intersection points are 0 comma 0 and 3 comma 3 ok. So, these two are my intersection points. So, this is 0 comma 0 and this is 3 comma 3. I hope these things are clear to you. Now we need to find the the most important part that is area. Okay, so we can say required area A. The formula for area is double integral dx dy. Okay, this is the formula that we need to know. But here you can see the strip drawn is vertical. Okay, the strip drawn is vertical that means first we will write dy because here the limits will be of y. So, first we need to write dy then dx. So, this we can rewrite as double integral dy dx. Here the limits will be of y and here the limits will be of x. So, x limit goes from x equal to 0 to x equals to 3. So, here we can write that is 0 to 3. Now, here we can write bottom part is on y equals to x, bottom part is on y equals to x. So, we can write limit goes from limit of y goes from x to upper part is y equals to 4x minus x square. So, here we can write that is 4x minus x square. Okay. Now, what is the function? There is no function here. So, we can say the function is 1. So, we can say that we are solving this part first. Okay, that is integrating what is with respect to y. So, this is integration 0 to 3. We have y limit is from x to 4 x minus x square. Do not forget to write this dx. Okay. Now, again solving this part, you will get integration 0 to 3. If you put upper limit, this will become 4 x minus x square minus lower limit that is x dx. Now solving this integration 0 to 3, this will be 3x minus x square. Here we have dx. Now integrating this function with respect to x, this is going to be 3 into x square upon 2 minus x cube upon 3. Limit goes from 0 to 3. So this is 3 into 3 square upon 2 minus 3 cube upon 3. We are ignoring this lower limit because this is 0 ok. So, this is 3 into 3 square that is 27 upon 2 27 upon 2 minus again here we have 3 cube that is 27 upon 3 ok. Now, we can take LCM on taking LCM we will get 
denominator as 6 okay so 27 into 3 that will become 81 2 into 27 that is 54 so here you can say yes that is 27 upon 6 okay now dividing with 3 you will get this is as 9 and this as 2 so we can say the final answer is 9 upon 2 okay but one thing that you need to understand here that is we are, we are finding area okay so it should be and none of the uh, units is given so we can say 9 upon 2 square units okay and now you can write answer you have to mention this part also okay so thank you thank you so much